fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for coming back here to watch my videos but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every content that i put in this channel my dear friends i know we always talk as sisters as friends and i'm going to be starting by asking you a question <laughs> especially you ladies who are online dating apps searching for the right man for marriage <laughs> you who are interested in interracial dating have you ever seen a couple and then this couple looks so much in love with each other and you are there you are on online dating apps searching for love but you're not getting positive response and you ask yourself what am i doing wrong where am I going wrong? Why am I not finding a serious man for me, a serious man to love me on online dating apps? And then you see this beautiful couple, let's imagine it's an interracial couple, and you wish to get a chance to talk to this lady so that she can give you some secrets on how she found that man. <laughs> Have you ever been in such kind of a situation? If yes, then today's video is very perfect for you because recently, leave alone the story that I made, there is another story coming soon. I talked to this lady on Instagram. She found a man online, a white man. She was interested in marrying a white man. So she went on online dating apps and found a man. It wasn't easy like I am just saying it that she went on online dating apps and then found a white man. No, she passed through a lot but that one I will share with you when I tell you her story. So as I was talking to her, she asked me to do this video of today. Talk to ladies who are on online dating apps searching for the right man for marriage on how they should be. So guys, today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the secrets <laughs> on how to find a man for marriage, especially you ladies who are on online dating apps searching for the white man for marriage or any man of any color, then I'm going to be giving you some secrets <laughs> on how you guys should be so that you can find that right man that you are wishing for. Tip number one, if you want to find love on online dating apps, then you need to be like this. You need to know why you are on online dating apps. What is your goal? And you need to be ready to be on online dating apps. I've been sharing with you the tips of online dating, so you need to be prepared <laughs> before you join online dating apps mentally guys because it's not easy i've been saying i've been singing that online dating is not easy so you need to be really prepared and you need to know what you want if it is love then don't waste your time to chat with men who are on online dating apps to waste time I told you, you will know right from the man's profile that he is not serious. Let's take an example. A guy has written in his profile, he is there just to pass time or he is there just to find friends, but you are on online dating apps to find love. Why should you go and write a message to this guy? Or when this guy writes you a message, why should you respond? <laughs> You chat to this guy, you lose lots of time. In the end, the guy tells you, I was just looking for friends. And then you have attached yourself. You start crying. You start blaming online dating apps. <laughs> Ladies, you need to know what you are looking for on online dating apps for you to find love. Also, as ladies, you shouldn't waste time of men who are seriously looking for love. I'm saying this because I've been chatting with lots of ladies. You chat with a lady, you come to find out that this lady is on online dating apps, but not to find love, guys. 
just because she wants to escape from her country maybe due to her economic situation so she's using this chance of joining on online dating apps so that she can find a white man and then use this white man as a ladder <laughs> to go to Europe or to America or to Australia to change her life. You know guys, I've been always telling you the truth. I don't want to, you know, to mislead you. If you really want to escape from your situation, there is a lot of ways to use, not to use a man that is going to invest his emotions <laughs> in you and then you betray him it is not going to work for you it is not going to work for him too because <laughs> guys europe life is not easy so if you're going to pick a man and then you tell this guy that you love him but deep inside you don't love this guy you arrive here you have your own plans maybe of looking for a job leave this guy and <laughs> <laughs> and then start your new life it's not going to work for you it's not easy here there is no friends it's so hard to start so you need someone to support you and the one that is going to support you the one that is going to you know to be your best friend is that man <laughs> that you want to betray <laughs> is that man that you don't even love <laughs> so it's going to be very very difficult for you there is a lot of ways that you can use to go to America there is a lot of ways that you can use to go to Europe, Australia, Canada, any part of the world that you want to go for you to escape your situation or your financial situation that you are in. But don't use a guy that maybe you met on online dating apps so that you can escape from your financial situation or from the situation that you are in. It is very, very wrong and it might not work for you. If you land to a wrong man, I tell you, we are going to forget you. If you try to betray the man that you met on online dating apps, when you reach to his country, we might forget you. So don't waste time or don't destroy the life of other people. <laughs> you need to know why you are on online dating apps so that you can find love. And to add on that, guys, men who are on online dating apps are not stupid at all. They are very, very clever. <laughs> that is why most of the times they play us. <laughs> because <laughs> they are clever so if you come with your intentions that is not to find love most men will find out if a man is genuine and is looking for love and sees that you are desperate want to escape from your country to escape from your financial situation he's going to find out and you won't find love so be honest with yourself know what you are looking for on online dating apps if you want to escape from your country or from your situation then look for the right ways to escape but don't use anyone because you don't want men to use you right yeah point number two if you want to find love on online dating apps you need to be like this or you need to do this <laughs> open your eyes you need to open your eyes shine your eyes <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians would tell you shine your eyes guys you need to open your eyes let's leave jokes aside cause on online dating apps I tell you men are clever so you need to be clever to open your eyes to shine your eyes so that you can see the reality of things yes cause most ladies you know I know guys I know I've been there I've been like that because <laughs> most ladies think that white men all of them are honest they are very good they are very loving you know <laughs> I tell you they are just human beings just like any other man or just like any other human being <laughs> so exist bad exist good so when you join online dating apps please shine your eyes don't come with that mentality that all white men are good all white men are honest see the reality of things i've been telling you the way you could date a black man the things that you could look into a black man try to see them even in a white man 
if it is you know being careful observing those red flags observe them <laughs> yes because he is a human being <laughs> just like a black man just like any man of any color then we come to this thing that i've been seeing it in lots of ladies i've talked of this i did a video about this but still comes ladies who tell me the same thing so you find a lady is a christian from a christian family and maybe this lady is a single mother of two then goes and finds a guy online who is from these arabic countries like pakistan iraq or even india the countries that cares a lot when it comes to culture it is not even a matter of you know color discrimination not at all they care so much about their culture so first of all you are black you are a single mother with two kids then you come and tell me bella i'm not planning to change my religion bella this guy loves me so much we're going to get married but it will be a civil marriage in iraq or in <laughs> pakistan girl do you know what you're talking about <laughs> Have you done enough research of that country? Please guys, see the reality. If you're going to date a guy from Pakistan, from Iraq, and this guy lives there, trust me, you have to go with their culture and traditions. If it is changing their religion, you are going to convert, girl. <laughs> you are going to convert because that is how they live that is how they do things for you to blend within them for them to accept you <laughs> so don't start lying to yourself that oh he has agreed we are going to do a civil marriage he has agreed i'm going to transfer with my kids to his country his family is okay with it are you sure are you really sure Please guys, be careful. You know, something that I have observed, men who come from, I'm very sorry guys, I don't have anything against Indian men or men from Iraq. No guys, they are good men, they are good husbands. Because if I'm going to say they are bad, it means that all women that are married to them, they are living a hell life, which is not true. No guys, what I'm trying to tell you here, guys, you need to make a research of the things these men tell you you need to be sure of what these men are telling you if this guy is telling you the family has accepted have you ever talked to one of his family members have you done a research to know how things are done in his country have you seen some couples like you and him <laughs> in your situation <laughs> in his country do they exist have you done that research try to see the reality guys it's not that i'm telling you don't let this guy he's bad or they discriminate they are racist not at all what i'm trying to tell you is to see the reality because guys i was saying <laughs> one thing that i have noticed is that men from india or men from these arabic countries they are so good at words very very good especially guys i'm talking to those on online dating apps they are so good at words they're going to tell you beautiful words they enjoy having a very beautiful romantic conversation with a lady but when times goes on the guy might dump you might find something to end that relationship most of the times they end like that so don't waste your time don't put yourself in complicated relationships if you really want to find love open your eyes shine your eyes if you remember guys there is a story i shared of a pakistan lady who was living here in italy but there was an arranged marriage for her to marry her cousin she did not want to do that she found a guy on tiktok and then they planned to get married as they were planning to get married she went to her parents to take her documents they were living here in italy and then what the parents did guys they took her life 
and the case has been going on it's a year now recently there is a video which was released showing the girl's parents mother and father accompanying this girl to a killer who was an uncle to the girl they told her take your documents you're going to accompany you they accompanied this girl in a forest it was at night and then an uncle took the life of the girl the girl had a bag after delivering this girl to an uncle who was supposed to take her life and he took her life the mother and the father returned with only a bag that video is showing clearly you know guys here in europe <laughs> cameras are everywhere so that video was released recently showing what all happened but why it's because the parents had an arranged marriage for this girl the girl refused so to punish her it was like a punishment i don't know how people can think sometimes so it was like punishing her taking her life a pakistan family and this is all to the culture culture and traditions so that is why i'm telling you guys open your eyes and funny enough the guy that the girl met on tiktok was from pakistan too <laughs> but because they had fixed that arranged marriage it was a must for her to get married to a guy so please be very careful we are still on shining your eyes <laughs> because <laughs> it's very very important guys lots of ladies who are on online dating apps go wrong on this so you are chatting to a guy and then this guy doesn't want to know anything about you he's not interested but you're not seeing that <laughs> which is so sad a guy is not asking you anything anything about you about your family about your life but he tells you he want to meet you in africa spend some time with you <laughs> maybe during this summer but because you don't want to shine your eyes you think that maybe it's an opportunity this guy might be in love with you no dear beautiful ladies it does not work like that it does not work like that that guy just want to use you for his summer vacation <laughs> He just want to take the goodies that's the truth that's the bare truth don't close your eyes don't get blinded because he has sent you some money <laughs> and think that there can be some kind of a relationship or this man might be your future husband that will never happen if you want to know the truth Tell that guy that when he comes, you're not going to give him the goodies and see his reaction. <laughs> Actually, there is a lady who wrote to me and was in that kind of a situation. <laughs> I told her, tell the guy that when he comes, you are not going to sleep with him. There is no goodies. You know what happened? The guy blocked her <laughs> and I know he moved to the next girl. <laughs> in the same country i'm saying this because i am sure by the way there is another story story time <laughs> so there is a lady who met a guy online everything was going very very well until the ukraine war happened and then the guy was like i'm going to ukraine for the war let's end the relationship they ended the relationship and then after a month the guy returned with another story telling the lady that I want you to process a visa of another lady who is in Malawi or Mozambique, one of those countries. <laughs> process the visa of that lady who is in Mozambique to come to Tanzania, Zanzibar, because that lady is a girlfriend of his son and the son is 16, but the lady is 28 and is a single mom <laughs> that girl did a detective job <laughs> after getting the information of the lady in mozambique and found out that it was totally a different thing that lady was a girlfriend of a guy <laughs> so he wanted that tanzanian lady to process a visa of a girl in mozambique so that the lady can come and stay in zanzibar with him then after a week <laughs> sends the lady to Mozambique and call this Tanzanian lady that I am in Zanzibar come and meet me so that you can have fun so enjoy the goodies from two different ladies from two different countries <laughs> 
Do you see how these men can be clever? That is why you need to shine your eyes <laughs> so that you can find love because by doing so you are going to filter all men who are players and you will remain with men who are genuine who really are looking for true love on online dating apps number three which is very very important guys for you to find love on online dating apps you need to be a very positive person you need to love yourself truly so by loving yourself other people will learn to love you and you by being positive you will attract positive people you will even change the lives of others so if this man is going to fall in love with you online because you are positive it means that he's gonna be positive too because you are a positive person it's very very important no man wants to date a lady who is super depressed a lady who doesn't love herself a lady who is frustrated in life no man wants such kind of a lady no man wants to fall in love with such kind of a lady and he will never fall in love with such kind of a lady that's the truth don't be a lady when you're on online dating apps you find a guy and then this guy tells you let's talk on camera when he switch on the camera to talk to you he sees depression total depression darkness <laughs> don't be such kind of a lady if you have your own problems and solved problems i would advise you to first clear all those problems with yourself when you feel like everything is okay you are happy with yourself you are happy with your life you are a positive person you can put a smile on someone's face <laughs> then join online dating apps and i'm very sure guys you are going to find love yes point number four guys for you to find love on online dating apps you need to know that love does not command and you should be clever to notice a man who is serious a genuine guy that is looking for love yes and when you find him or when you see him please don't play hard to get like i said in our last story time <laughs> that you don't need to play hard to get when you see that a guy is genuine a guy is so good all boxes tick 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 don't start playing around or don't start behaving like you are not that interested <laughs> yes because by doing that that's when you lose a serious man i want to give you an example actually this has happened <laughs> so you are on online dating apps you meet a guy and the guy seems serious then this guy tells you i want to invite you in my country so that we can meet then you tell the guy that no we can't meet because maybe i am very busy with work i cannot come or some ladies says that i am very scared i've never traveled and i'm not you know <laughs> i'm not that sure about you so i cannot come be the one to come so the guy tells you okay i'll be coming after two months then you tell the guy no don't come after two months you need to come after five months <laughs> do you know what is going to happen that guy is going to chat with another lady a lady who will understand him when he tells her can we meet if she's scared to go and meet the guy he's going to tell the guy you come in my country so that we can meet anytime that you can my love <laughs> you come there is no problem <laughs> do you think he's going to wait five months so that he can come to you not at all <laughs> <laughs> he will go to the lady who is more understanding a lady who knows that that guy is seriously looking for love and wants to settle i told you that it really happened there is a girl that i was helping online was chatting with a guy who is from a country that they don't speak english so as they were chatting the guy told the lady that i am planning to come meet you and if it is possible if you allow me go meet your parents then the girl was like but we talked you told me that you are still learning english so i think 
you should wait until those six months when you finish your English course, then come to my country. Because in my country, we use English. And if you come here, it is going to be very hard for us to talk, to understand each other. So don't come now, first learn English. <laughs> So dear beautiful ladies, if this guy leaves these ladies, are we going to blame him? No, we are not going to blame him. <laughs> because first of all, telling the guy to go and learn English, it's so offensive. You should be the one to encourage this guy, not every country that speaks English. So you should understand that. And you chatting with a guy from a country that they don't speak English, you should accept him as the whole package. <laughs> Whatever comes with him. There is Google Translator. You can communicate by translating. I have seen a lot of couples that even got married by just communicating like that and after all it's not that the guy does not speak english completely he speaks english but not fluently so ladies you need to be very clever when a guy is serious don't start playing a lot of games don't start offending people just because they've told you they're so in love with you and then you take advantage of that not at all for you to find love you need to be clever you need to be very understanding and above all you need to know that love does not command number five if you want to find love on online dating apps i know this video is gonna be a bit long but as long as you are learning something it's okay so for you to find love on online dating apps you need to be financially independent as a woman I'm not saying that you need to be rich, not at all. You need to be having something that you are doing in life. This is good for you. And this is also good if you're on online dating apps, you find a partner, this partner is going to respect you cause you are a responsible lady. You are financially independent. Not a guy that is going to chat with you. He sees that you are not working. You don't have anything that you're doing in life and then maybe marries you. In the end, he starts disrespecting you, abusing you, telling you that you are a lazy woman. You are lazy even <laughs> before he met you. It's very, very bad guys. It's not good for you. So even if a guy marries you, it's going to be hell life for you. Be very prepared. And another downside of it is that most men don't like women who are not doing anything in life. It's the truth, guys. This is the world that we are living in. No man that wants an irresponsible woman. I've said this and I'll keep on insisting on this. You don't need to be rich, but you need to be doing something. Life can be hard, I know, but every day that you go to bed, if you don't have anything that you're doing right now, try to think and think of how you can change your life. Don't blame yourself. Don't tell yourself I am useless. No, you should focus on how you're going to change that situation that you are in so that you can be independent. So before you join online dating apps, before you start looking for love, be financially independent. I have another example. There is a guy that was chatting with a lady online and they actually met. This lady wasn't working at that moment, but the messages that I read, the guy was sending to a lady. They were so, so disrespectful, not only to a lady, but to Africa in general. The guy was saying that people in Africa are poor because they are lazy. They don't work just because the lady wasn't working. Yes. So you can see how people can even get the audacity <laughs> of insulting the whole Africa just because you are not working. <laughs> this brings me to a say in Tanzania when they they always say that when you are in a foreign country you are representing your country like me i am in italy representing tanzania <laughs> 
Yes, cause you see, this girl is an African, was dating a white guy, and because the lady wasn't working, the guy said that all Africans are lazy. That is why in Africa, poor hospitals, poor infrastructures, people are living in bad houses because Africans are lazy. You see, so dear beautiful ladies, please find something to do so that you can be independent. So please, please, for you to find love, you need to wake up and be financially free. Point number six, if you want to find love on online dating apps, and this is from the lady that I told you when I started the video, this advice. <laughs> Guys, I know some of you have been asking me, Bella, how can I pay for this site? How can I pay for that site? Please help me. <laughs> and today I'm going to give you an answer on this. Dear ladies, if you want to pay for a dating site, then you should pay for a dating site that needs both of you, you and the guy, to pay so that you can communicate if that site is like that i allow you to pay i advise you to pay for that dating app but if the site allows the guy to pay and then if he has paid you can communicate you can use the free version of that dating site and communicate to a guy i'm not advising you to pay oh if you are going to pay for that kind of the dating app whereby they allow one of you to be paying so that you can communicate then chat with men who have paid only so both of you should be paying so both of you should be paying otherwise you're going to lose your money you are going to waste your time if you pay for the dating site and start chatting with guys who have not paid because those guys the truth is they are there to pass time they are there just to play games and that's why they don't want to pay because they want to play their games for free so don't pay your money and start chatting with such kind of men if you pay then you are going to be chatting with guys who have paid period <laughs> yes so the advice of this lady she was telling me so she was telling me bella online dating is not easy and once you find your white man everyone is asking you how did you find that white man please connect me but it's not easy i tell you it needs someone who is very patient and someone who can take sacrifices she was telling me bella i used my savings to pay for that dating app and God was on my side, I met the right man who is her fiancé as we are talking now. So guys, if you're going to pay for the dating app, both of you should be paying. If you pay, chat with men who have paid, not men who have not paid. I hope you have understood me on that. Point number seven, for you to find love on online dating apps, you need to be very determined. So no matter what challenges, be ready to take it and don't allow the challenges to bring you down. Be determined to get what you want. So please don't give up. I repeat, keep praying to God that you find that right man because it is possible. It can be very hard. It can be so challenging but it's not impossible it is very possible if others have found love online why not you just follow the tips that i have been giving you about online dating i remember there is one tip i told you don't give online dating apps a hundred percent of your time because when you do that you will get frustrated if you don't get the positive feedback from men so do your life but at the same time stay on online dating apps keep searching because i know god listens to prayers he is going to answer you very soon but don't give up for any any reason be determined and that way you will be able to find love on online dating apps so dear friends those were the secrets 
on how you can find love or how you should be so that you can find love on online dating apps. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You are going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. I love you so much, guys. You are always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.